Your goth witch girlfriend happy, part one. Scratch her on the head, kind of like a cat. This will put her in her dulcet state, making her less likely to enter a murderous rage. Give her forehead kisses. This will make her heart flutter, ensuring that she doesn't rip yours out with her bare hands on a full moon. And finally, support her when she wants to sacrifice the neighbors to the Dark Lord. Because if you don't, she will try to sacrifice you. Make your goth witch girlfriend happy, part two. Provide her with an endless supply of snacks. Keeping her from going hungry avoids her inevitable transformation into a werewolf-like creature that will eat your face. Supply copious amounts of caffeine. Because when they do sleep, they know how to enter your dreams like Freddy Krueger and will torment you for your indiscretions. Give her pretty rocks that you happen to find. See, they have the same mentality of a crow or a raven, and if you don't give them pretty rocks, they'll peck out your eyeballs instead. Keep your goth witch girlfriend happy. Part 3. Horror movie marathons on the couch together. She'll enjoy spending quality time together, and the weird parts will make her naughty bits tingle. Support her in, and also help her dye her hair. There's a good chance you're going to be pulling it anyway, so might as well have a say in the pretty colors in your hands. Drink the blood of her enemies, together. Date nights are important, and it's better theirs than yours. Keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part four. Don't try to stop her from bringing home stray animals. Witch needs their familiars, and also, she likes them more than you. Take her shopping the day after Halloween for on-sale home decor, because she has a discount coffin in the house, or she will put you in a coffin in the ground. Take them foraging in nature for plants or mushrooms. It's just, they have so much energy, you gotta tire them out somehow. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part five. Present her with strange, unusual knickknacks. If you give her bones you find, she won't take yours in your sleep. Buy them, buy them little jars. I couldn't tell you what the fuck they do with all of them, but they get real excited about it. Don't question when they're drawing sigils and symbols around the house in chalk. They use it as some sort of protection, and frankly, the demon she'll turn into if you try to stop her is far worse than whatever she's trying to protect you from. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part six. Gift them with stuffed animals, squishmallows, and the like. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but a soft, warm, cuddly thing will curtail the dark soul that lives within. When she's having a girl's night, don't be home. That's coven night, and I suggest you steer clear lest you become that weak sacrifice. Don't be mad when she's trying to cleanse the house with noise in the middle of the night. Because if you don't let her bang those pots and pans to get the negative energy out of the house, you will be the negative energy she gets rid of forever. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 7. Long, romantic walks through the graveyard, not questioning when they take some of the dirt. A lot of the time, graveyard dirt is used for some very vicious hexes and you don't want to be next on that list. Let them pop your spots. I know, it's weird and it's disgusting, but the alternative is watching Dr. Pimple Popper all day. Don't touch her altars. If you disturb it, they're going to hear from their ancestors and their deities, and if they have to feel their wrath, you will feel hers. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 8. Buy her nice neck jewelry, chokers and the such. Because if you buy her pretty things to wear around her neck in public, she will wear your hand around her neck in private. Have Gatorade and snacks ready after burying the bone. Because otherwise, come round six, which she will be surprisingly ready for, you'll just be a lifeless form devoid of all the bodily fluids she drained from you and you will not have her be happy about it. Speaking of, don't eat the snacks that she hides around the house. They're like squirrels that way, and if you disturb their nuts, they'll take yours instead. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part nine. Play along when she threatens to stomp on you with her big boots. It makes them feel like they can chop you down, and frankly, they need the victories to feel tough. If she gives you things with hibiscus or rose in it, understand that these are very powerful aphrodisiacs and passion items. What I'm saying is she wants to go to Pound Town. Buy her some inexpensive fishnets or tights. Keep some spares around the house. Because let's be honest, she shouldn't be the only one paying for them if you're the one ripping them. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 10. Remind her when you're shopping for makeup to get waterproof eyeliner. Otherwise, she's going to get mad at you when she has to reapply it after you're done making it run down her face. If she gives you something to keep on your person at all times, like a little stone or a knickknack, listen to her, because whatever she's trying to protect you from is nothing compared to her wrath. Encourage her to grow her nails out and file them into claws. Because they're great for back scratches and also digging into your back. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 11. Spirit Halloween dates. Listen, it's already April, which means we are six short months away from Halloween. Come August, start planning all your weekend dates around Spirit Halloween and she won't remove your spirit from your body. All black everything, usually. Sometimes they really like pink, but they don't like to talk about it. Buying her a new shirt, get it in black. Buying her some new lipstick, get it in black. Red also works for that one. Trying to figure out what to wear for date night, wear black. Because if her lips match your shirt, she will leave lip prints in very nice places. Buy her things that have to do with the moon. I really don't understand this one, but I do know they give the good good love and under the moonlight. How 
How to Keep Your Goth Witch Girlfriend Happy, Part 12, The Date Night Edition. Now, dinner in a movie is an all-time staple, but they love buffets. At least in my experience, sushi, Chinese food, any kind of Asian delicacy, really. Also, don't judge them for how many plates they have or how high they pile the food, because they will bite off your head for sustenance instead. Haunted houses, horror events, especially during the Halloween season. They like to pretend that they're not scared of the things, but they are 100% scared of the things. So grab their hand, hold them close, and let them know you're there. Lazy days at home, completely in your birthday suits. It's one of their favorites. They get to avoid the outside world, be physically intimate with you, enjoy your company, and eat really good takeout. What I'm saying is food is very important when dating a goth witch. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 13. If she asks to read your tarot, just let her. She knows the universe has something to tell you, and she's going to talk to it about you whether you know it or not, so you might as well be informed. Never overthink making the first move for the naughty naughty. Chances are she's too shy to make the first move herself, so if you want that good good loving, you grab her by the thighs and you pull her on over. Do not confuse them with emo. While they share some similarities like a penchant for black, they are very, very different. And if you make the mistake, their normal cheery demeanor will change to show you the difference in the wrath that they rain upon you. Keep your goth witch girlfriend happy. Part 14. Between me and you, just give her the time, date, and place of your birth. She's just going to keep asking you for it. If she doesn't get it from you, she's going to get it from your mother. And do you want your mother to know how compatible the two of you are and how viciously you're going to shake the sheets? I didn't think so. Don't lie to them. This really goes for all relationships. Don't lie to your partners. Communicate. Don't be fucking stupid. Frankly, the universe is just going to tell her anyway. Then she and the universe are going to have it handled before you even know she knows. Don't ever call them crazy during an argument or a dispute of any kind. Also, rule of thumb, don't do that to anyone. Don't be stupid. But if you do, she will show you a whole new definition of crazy that will change you forever. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 15. Do the nasty with them during horror movies. With consent. Frankly, she's already where she needs to be and she's just waiting for you to make a move so her and the final girl can both scream. Let them purify the house in any cycle that they see fit. Frankly, it calms them down, and believe you me, it will be much worse when she tries to purify you with fire. Don't question when they text you a picture of themselves with their new hair color. Just tell them you like it, because in some cases, through color magic, it signifies the energy that they're trying to harness. Because you don't want to see red as they're in a conflict, because it means that they are preparing for war. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 16. This one's super easy. When they come through the door, all you gotta do is one of these. They'll be ecstatic. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 17. Give her, give her all of the blankets. You really have no choice in the matter. She's going to yank them off of you in your sleep anyway, and either you willingly freeze and live to see tomorrow, or she sucks the warmth and life from your body by morning. They really like dancing. I think it has something to do with communing with their dead ancestors via dance, so take them out on the town one night for drinking and dancing. Because otherwise, she's going to dance to commune with your dead spirit. Embrace their weird. They are weird. They will be weird, but in the best ways possible. They're sort of like the Adams Family, where all the things the general public would generally find reprehensible, they find beauty in. And that's the beauty behind them. Keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 18. Talk to them, like real communication. The universe lets them know when something is up, and generally that's going to stir up anxieties in them because they know something's wrong, but they don't know what. Be open and honest. It'll make everyone feel better. Help them put together a garden. If you live somewhere that happens to have space, do a big one outdoors. If you happen to live in an apartment, then do a small one on a balcony. They love fresh fruit and herbs, and if you have an outside one, if she ever has a problem with a neighbor, you have a place to hide a body. Respect their practices. I'm not a witch, I have no greater faith, and any goth witch girlfriend that I've ever had has respected that. So respect them and their faith. Regardless if it doesn't mesh with yours, or you think faith itself is silly, it is important to them. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 19. Do not rush them. Now this is for whatever you're doing, especially if you're going out on the town. They are working hard to look their best, and yes, they do it for themselves, and they want to feel good about themselves, but they're also doing it because they want to look their best for you. Random acts of affection. Physical touch, verbal reassurance, buying pretty things you see in a store because it made you think of them. It's simple, it's easy, and it will quell the beast inside of them that will legitimately decapitate you otherwise. Cook for them. I have no idea what it is about this. Maybe it's their ladies, maybe it's the kind act of you taking care of them, or maybe they just love to be doted on. Make them a meal. Make them breakfast foods. They all love breakfast foods. If you make them breakfast foods for every meal, then she will prepare herself as a meal for you. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 22. Take them for a moonlit stroll. 
The moon has substantial power when it comes to witchcraft, and I can almost assure you that you've seen them collect water and let it bask in the light of the moon. Take them for a walk in the moonlight because they love being out at night and basking their mind, body, and soul in that same moonlight. Unique terms of endearment. Babe, hun, sweetie, that's all well and good, but a special nickname that you give just to them because it reminds you of them is what they love the most. It lets them know that you pay attention to them, it lets them know you care, and also if you give them a special nickname, they'll be so happy that they won't give you the nickname, my ex-partner. Take them swimming. A pool, a river, oceans, lakes, take them to a body of water. I can almost guarantee that their favorite Disney movie is The Little Mermaid and that they've all dreamed of being a mermaid at some point. Help them live out that dream with a day by the beach, by the pool, with a couple of drinks in the sun. Otherwise, they go from mermaid to kraken real fast and they'll find your body in Davy Jones' locker. How to keep your goth witch girlfriend happy, part 21. Show them off. They love this. They may not feel great about themselves all the time or be subconscious about their goth and witchy nature. Bring them places that show you want people to see that you're together. Otherwise, she's going to show off how single she is. Take an interest in them. Read some books. Go on the online forums. Take the time to know more about their spirituality, their rituals. Ask them questions about magic, divination, other aspects of their spirituality. They love to talk and teach, and it shows that you care. Embrace the darkness. Understand that darkness can be an important part of the goth subculture and is often celebrated as a form of self-expression. Understand this and accept their love for all things dark, whether it's clothes, music, or their art. Don't insist they conform, otherwise you'll be embracing the sweet darkness of death. 